I was not gonna keep inviting you to stuff if it was all this energy. So I made that real clear. No. I knew it. <laughs> I knew it. I didn't even know that Phaedra and I was not cool at all. So her telling me that she's not bringing me around him, I don't need you to bring me around Phaedra Parks. I think that all of us can agree that you, you, that's, people. That's not. Miss Parks, let's remember how you got in the group on some real shit. It's Justin Diego back with another Binge Worthy video. And y'all, oh my God, I cannot believe that we didn't even make it halfway through the season of Married to Medicine before Shady Fei Fei showed us her true colors. Y'all tell me why Phaedra did not just throw Quad under the bus. She asked the bus driver to reverse that thing a couple of times to make sure that Quad was done for. <laughs> Okay, if you watched Married to Medicine Season 10, Episode 6, then you already know that in this episode, appropriately titled Wine Country, Toya leads the group in her newest venture to take down Quad to get her off the show to free up more budget for them to bring in more strays like Sweetie. I meant for Toya to find new partners for her amazing wine club that is going to be her storyline for just another season or two. Did I lie? Did I lie? No, ma'am. Let's hit the streets and get up in these Napa Valley vineyards. <laughs> and it's on this trip where we find out just how much these ladies are willing to plot and gatekeep to protect their egos and their precious sisterhood. Okay, obviously I'm really annoyed about this and I'm being incredibly passive aggressive, so let's just get to it. Nah. You don't give a shit. I don't give a fuck. To be quite frank, these last few episodes of Married to Medicine have been really hard to watch because the vibes are off. I feel like they have been incredibly rude to Quad this entire season and they've been playing in her face and playing in our face, acting like we're just too damn dumb to see that something is up. And quite frankly, I feel like y'all, they hate that lady. Where are you putting Quad? Oh, I, I didn't get her a room. You can't do that. Would you let her stay in your room? Oh, no. no, no. Nope. It's a no for me. Yeah, the whole situation where they went down the line one by one, showing how many people were rejecting Quad, joining their room. Jackie said no with, with, with eight O's. <laughs> I told you she said no. I told you. Seemed like the exact energy that Toya was claiming that she did not want on this trip. When we got here, everyone was scrambling because I didn't have a room for you. I yeah, asked Phaedra, I she was like, absolutely not. And the foolishness started as soon as Quad got there. Like, ma'am, is this the way that you want to welcome her and set the tone for this entire trip? Jackie said, no. Oh, or, you know, I do have my own mind. I can just go to another location. No. You think Toya would do you like that? Yeah, that just ain't right. And I personally do not like watching shows where everybody literally gangs up on one person. Wait, <laughs> my Real Housewives of Potomac and Real Housewives of Atlanta videos exist. Well, y'all know what I mean. <laughs> it was all cute when Quad at least had Phaedra, but now Miss Parks has completely jumped ship. But I can't even be mad at Phaedra because she is trying to secure her own place in this group and Phaedra is smart enough to be able to read the room and see that if she doesn't switch it up, she's going down with Quad. And I know that that has to be hella awkward. I don't want to be the person that's bringing the mess to the yes. party. Yeah, I feel like this whole entire trip and the dinner was a lot and they were basically saying, girl, why is you here? We've been treating you poorly on purpose so that you'll just leave and you're sitting there refusing to let us break you down. And to me, that's actually really disgusting. Seems like you're using me. And when this lady put you down, then you called me, right? She, she put me down? Yes. She said she was definitely not going to bring you on this trip. It is literally quad against everybody. <laughs> Now, off the record, Dr. Heavenly provided a little bit more context as to why she and her bitter squad has been trying to ice Quad out. Quad set herself up, and if we get into the fourth wall, we can talk about how she was set up, but I don't even want to go there. 
And then if, when, like, if you if you miss four weeks and smiles by Dr. Heavenly, you no longer have your job. I'm just going to say that. Now, first, she teased a little behind the scenes tension on an Instagram live with her other cast member. Don't play with me, y'all, because because Quad is, is on my heart and I love her and I know she's been through a lot. But damn it, do your fucking job. Well, on that note, <laughs> after that, Dr. Heavenly jumped on the Carlos King podcast to spill even more piping hot tea, first letting us know how they all felt about Quad missing the first few weeks of filming while she was negotiating her pay. I don't want to say she missed work. She was negotiating her contract. I will too. Okay, honey. <laughs> I agree 1000%. However, when you're negotiating your contract, you don't say in negotiation that why does Jackie make the same as I do because I'm more valuable than Jackie and then they get back to Jackie, you said it. Jackie is the medicine behind Mary the medicine. Negotiate, but don't negotiate on the head of somebody else. Okay, so while I was watching this, it started to all make a little bit more sense as to why the ladies were all incredibly nasty to Miss Quad from the jump. And I was still giving Dr. Hellish the side eye but at the same time, I was listening. It ain't just because what she doing on camera, it was doing what she was doing off camera. And this is some true tea. She don't think we know it, but they showed that. I was like, ooh, spit it out, girl. <laughs> Y'all, that is nasty work if production was really running back telling them everything that Kwai was saying in her negotiations. Like, that kind of feels illegal or am I tripping? Y'all can go to hell is where y'all can go, bitches. And if you're going to negotiate and phase with your friend, please don't say, listen, she ain't got no man. Did y'all know that? She ain't got no man. Did y'all know that? Now they knew it, but you don't say it in the time. And it's getting back to the people. The people is mad. Okay, now quiet. Girl, if this is true, <laughs> like, I can't even protect you. Be Girl. Girl. How big is that check? Because you acting like it's like a Beyonce type check and you ain't loyal to nobody over that little bit of money. <laughs> Dr. Heavenly also spilled the tea that Quad is actually not the reason that Phaedra was casted on this show. So Quad brought Phaedra on the show and then- No, no. She will lead you to believe that. Oh, whoa. <laughs> And in fact, they were gonna do whatever it took to get Phaedra on. What happened was, Phaedra was at um, BravoCon one year, right? There was on a panel, Jackie, I think some other people, and Jackie asked her, what are you up to? She said, I'm dating a doctor. So Jackie says to Phaedra, why don't you come hang out with us sometimes? We don't get none of the housewives rating, I mean, you know, pubs. They were hoping that Phaedra would bring that pub. Quad jumped on and said, hey, I know Phaedra. And Quad was actually sneaky enough to try to make this work for her own story. Phaedra was in at the door. Phaedra said hello and it was gonna let her in. Quad did not bring that girl to the show. Them people wanted Phaedra and they bent all kind of rules to get that bitch on our show. I beg your pardon. Don't make me mad. Next. Yes, this really started to kind of change how I felt about this gang up. And if it's true, it kind of makes sense why they're all turning on Quad right now, even though a lot of them know that Quad is really good for the show. So you don't say those things because production is coming back and telling us what is being said. And we know for a fact because I'm cool with them little boys. Well, let me hush. <laughs> and I thought that this tweet from Dr. Heavenly about her getting in some trouble for talking to Carlos King was really hilarious. <laughs> but I understand why she's finally done with Quad. Quad gave us her ass to kiss. I'm like, the f can I do? What can I do when you tell in production and everybody you really don't have no emotional attachment? So I'm saying like, bitch, like, if you don't like nobody here, and you're not trying to get along with anybody here. What are you here for? And now it all makes sense. Come in right now and tell me what you guys think about all this. Do you still think that they are all ganging up on Quad for no reason? Or do you believe what Dr. Heavenly is saying and feel like Quad is definitely in the wrong? 
This is just so much piping hot tea and I am completely shook about all of it. Thank you so much for watching this video all the way till the end. I cannot wait to read y'all shady behind comments and see how y'all really feel about all this mess. All right, thanks again for watching. I will see all of y'all doctors and doctor's wives on the next one.